everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video we are doing my February 2022 sewing plans now before we get started go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video so without further ado I'm gonna get right on into this video but not only is this my February 2022 sewing plan I'm also gonna be talking to you about another series that I am starting called the business series where I will be sewing business attire to go in portion of my closet. Now the business series will go throughout the year and I will be using one pattern per business series. So now it's only four series so I will be doing one pattern four times this year. All right, so the first pattern that I will be doing is Simplicity 9227. Stay tuned so you can see what I sewed up and what I used, okay? So I'm also doing another series which will start this month in the month of February. Well, next week, a couple of days starts February, right? So um, I will be doing another series which is the So What series. And in that series every month, I will bring you a sew along to something easy that you could do. The first sew along will be posted February 6th and that will be, I'll show you the pattern now. So stay tuned for the sew along for this pattern, which is called the Sew What Series. Every few weeks, I will definitely bring a sew along of something that you could do and something easy that you could do every few weeks, okay? So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into my February 2022 sewing plan. But oh, before I forget, I'll also be participating in the hashtag BHM Pattern Designer Challenge this month. And what that is, is basically Natita from So Natural Dane. Every, I think this is the third or fourth year she have done the hashtag BHM Pattern Designer Challenge. And in that challenge, basically you just select a African-American pattern designer use one of their patterns and then sew something up. You don't have to do one. You can do as many garments as you want throughout the month. Now it runs from February 1st to February 28th to cover all the days for Black History Month. So I'll be participating in that as well. Now, without further ado, and before I get too far into more details, let's go ahead and get right on into my February 2022 sewing plan. So let's go ahead and head over to the sewing table. All right, so let's go ahead and get into my plans for February 2022. Now, I know this month is a 28 day month, and I know you're wondering, Rochelle, how in the world you're gonna get all of these plans done? Listen, with patience, organization, and consistency, that is my lock and key to how I get things done, which I will talk about a productivity video in, uh, coming up shortly. I'll do a productivity video so you guys can see how I get things done. But that's not this video, so let's go ahead and get into what I plan on making, okay? So the first thing, or one of the first things, they're not in order, it's just basically, I'm just gonna show you. So this is one of the first things I want to make for the month of February, 2022. And this is part of the business wardrobe series that, you know, I am doing. And this is Simplicity 9227. Now for February, um, I might have time to do view B, but for what I'm doing this month is just the jacket. And that is Simplicity 9227 because it is a little coat here in Orlando. So I need to put more things that are, you know, for coat weather in my wardrobe. So this is one of the patterns that I want to do. Simplicity 9227, view A, the jacket. And if I have time, I will also do view B. Now this fabric right here is a um, poly cotton uniform plaid with navy red and white stripes. I picked this up from fabric.com, I wanna say about two years ago. So I'll try, if I could link to the fabric or just put the fabric number up, I'll do that. And it may be available or something similar in this colorway, okay? But this is Simplicity 9227. All right, so the next thing that I want to sew is this pillow. 
okay? So it's an envelope pillow. And this will also be the first project in the So What series that I am starting to do. The first um, one will be posted next week, February 6th. And every few weeks after that, I will post a new video for the So What series, series okay? <laughs> and um, this pattern is an old pattern from fall 2016, and this is Simplicity 8226. However, this pattern has been reissued several times. So if you do not have Simplicity 8226, you can also pick up the newer pattern, which is Simplicity 9402 or Quick Sew 4294, I think. I'll put all three of those patterns up so you can see um, that all of them are the exact same pattern. So you can use either one of those three patterns and sew along with me when that video drop, okay? So the plan is to make view C, which is where you see this red and white, and also view A, so you, uh, to make that uh, version as well. And then I'm going to self-draft, show you a self-drafted pillow as well, where you will need five different prints that you wanna use to put on your pillow, okay? so. You'll see how I'll do that. I don't want to give too many details because I still have to pick up um, some fabric to go with this fabric that I had in my stash. Now, all I'm gonna do is go to my stash and try to find some fabric that will you know, fit because these pillows are going on my couch. So um, I want to make sure that I pick, I choose colors that will go very well with what my couch is, okay? It's great, so <laughs> I need some gray fabric for that or a black and white or something, okay? But this is 8226 or you can use Simplicity 9402 or Quick Sew 4294. So this is the Sew Wet series. So the next thing is um, a dress as part of the dress series. And that dress, the third dress is the sweetheart dress and I plan on using Butterick 6809. Now you guys know, or you guys probably don't know, I have not sewn a Butterick dress in forever. Um, normally when I pick up Butterick patterns, it's for tops, and I want to change that because I hear Butterick patterns are, you know, true to size and it's for business. Now, of course, this is not a business print. But because I like the styling on view A of this pattern, I decided to use a fun print like this one um, that I picked up from House of Mami Wata during the summertime in July when I was picking up fabric for the uh, Ankara Appreciation Week. I picked up this fabric and decided to make a dress. I wanna say thanks to uh, Michelle from Michelle Sews again. She had this fabric, she made a dress, it looks amazing. I literally just picked up this fabric right before seeing Michelle's dress. So I decided, hey, why not make a dress with it as well? Um, but I don't know what pattern she used, but this is the pattern that I'm gonna use for my sweetheart dress, which is the third dress, and that's Butterick 6809. So the next project that I plan on doing is a tote bag. And I know that Super Bowl is coming up, so I want to make this for Super Bowl and have it for Super Bowl. Um, and I want to do it as a team bag. So because, you know, I will find out who um, will be in the Super Bowl, I have a little bit of time to scramble and find some fabric to get sent to me from Joey Ann's once the game plays this weekend and I find out who is playing in the Super Bowl, then I could go ahead and make a Super Bowl bag so I could have for Super Bowl Sunday, okay? So this is Simplicity 1338. I believe this is reissued and the new pattern, which of course I'll put up is Simplicity 9310. So if you want to pick up the newer pattern, which is Simplicity 9310, go ahead and pick you up one. And then also, you can have you a Super Bowl ba bag or a tote bag, okay? Or whatever your team is, go ahead and pick up that fabric and then, you know, some cotton. Now, I plan on using duck canvas for the main structure of my bag and then just the, um, the team, like you see on view C, um, the team, that I think will win the Super Bowl, you know, um, 
plan on doing that there and then use some um, probably white or whatever kind of webbing that I could find for these straps. That would be amazing too. But this is Simplicity 1338 or Simplicity 9310. I do not have the fabric to show you at this time. The next thing that I plan on sewing is part of the Sew It Academy. So if you guys know, last year I talked about being a member of the Sew It Academy since it started back in 2016. Now, um, I fell off a long time ago in like 2017, 2018. I was not doing any of the courses, okay? Now, of course, you pay every single month for these courses and you ain't doing any of these courses, so shame on me, shame on you, whoever's not doing these courses and we're paying for them, right? So I decided and I made a conscious uh, decision last year to sew as many courses that I have already paid for, okay? So this one right here is course 21, the fitting shell. So if you know, a couple of months ago, I picked up some fitting patterns based off of what Mimi G decided um, for us to use. Now, she used Vogue 1004 as the fitting shell, so I did pick that up, but I also picked up different ones. The Butterick uh, 5627, I picked up Butterick 5628, I also picked up McCall's 2718. Now I'm not sure which one I want to use yet, so that's why I showed you all four of them, but this fabric is going for the um, fitting shell dress. And it's just basically making a sheath dress um, in that tutorial that Mimi has for Sew It Academy. So I'm just gonna use the tutorial that Mimi has for this and create the sheath dress utilizing this fabric. Now this fabric is actually from fabric.com, but I seen this fabric on Amazon, purchased it from Amazon, which basically came from fabric.com. I will also try to put the link up if I could, you know, find, I'm just gonna go to my Amazon cart and find the link. This colorway may not be in stock, but <laughs> I will put the link up for you, okay? So this is for the fitting shell. So the next thing is you guys know, I'm gonna whip this up really, really quick, simply because I have had this in my stash since 2019. And I made a um, duster using Simplicity 8177. I was supposed to make pants to go along with that duster, but I just haven't gotten around to doing so. So I decided to put, pull out my TNT pattern, Simplicity 1165, in order to create the pants that I have been meaning to do forever and have not gotten around to it. So you guys know these pants is going to be sewn up in about three to four hours once I cut the fabric and I'm good to go. Um, but that's what I plan on doing with this fabric. Um, I actually picked up 10 yards when I picked up this fabric from Afric Clothing Store back in 2019. Um, also with this fabric, I plan on making a dress after I make the pants. So that's the plan. The dress is not got, probably will not be made this month, but I will go ahead and utilize whatever I have left to get rid of this fabric for a dress. It's not part of the dress series, it's just the dress that I wanna make, all right? Because I have an inspiration photo for it. But this is Simplicity 1165. The next thing is a button down shirt. Now, I picked up this fabric thinking that I actually had the pattern. I came home, um, get ready, wash the fabric, and then when I went to my pattern stash to pull out the pattern to cut, to start sewing the asymmetrical button down shirt, I didn't have the pattern. So the pattern that I want to use is Simplicity 9106. And I know that Joann's has a pattern sale for this this week. So the pattern sale is Simplicity and Quick Sew for $1.99. So I will be picking that up today and um, doing this button down shirt for this month. Now I already picked up my buttons as well. So I picked up these brown buttons and I think it will look so cute with this fabric. Now you will need about 10 buttons, okay? For this asymmetrical um, button down top or bu button down shirt really um, to, go as, to go in my closet and this 
as part of my unsolicited, basically, um, series for my, uh, it's kind of like a top series, but it's not a top series. It's basically, uh, basically fill your closet <laughs> with tops, right? Fill the top of your closet with tops. And that's basically what I will be doing with this dress, not dress, but this top, um, because I need more tops in my wardrobe, like I have said previously. But this is Simplicity 9106, and this is just basically a peach colored cotton fabric broad cloth that I picked up from Joann's last month, or actually I think I picked it up in November, but that's what this one will be. And speaking of more tops, I plan on, this will probably be the last thing that I make outside of the Black History Month pattern designer challenge. Um, but this is the last top I will be making this month. And this is my, what I'm calling a pleated puff sleeve blouse, okay? And this is an easy to sew pattern, it's Simplicity 9452. Now, if you go back to January 2022 sewing plans, you've seen this in it. However, what happened was, this, I'm gonna show you <laughs> what happened was I cut all the pieces out and everything. The sleeves, I did not have enough for the sleeves. Now, if you look in the back of the envelope for the size that I needed to cut, um, it says that I needed two and three eighths yards of fabric, okay? I had three yards of this fabric and guess what? It's not enough fabric. And this is 45 inch fabric. So I ordered because my Joann's did not have this fabric in and there was no way I was going to waste the fabric because this is the fabric that I really wanted to use for the pleated blouse because it was in my stash. So I had to buy two yards, that's the minimum for Joann's when they're sending you fabric. I had to buy two yards just to do the sleeves. I plan on doing BC. So just to do the sleeves, I had to purchase two yards of fabric. So I may make a headband or something to go along with it just to use up the rest of the fabric, but this is the plan that I plan on doing for this fabric. And the last thing that I plan on doing this month, wish me luck, right? Um, is for the hashtag Black History Month Pattern Designer. Actually, it's hashtag BHM Pattern Designer Challenge. And this is the fabric that I plan on using for BHM Pattern Designer Challenge. However, I am still between like three different patterns I have not decided and it starts this upcoming week and I still haven't I'm not a hundred percent sold on which pattern I want to use I will choose between the three and then make something with this uh, print that I have because this is all that's left in my um, stash of fabric and I plan on using it so um, I will be making one of the African-American or black um, pattern designers that's listed on Natita from So Natural Dane's website in order to participate in the hashtag BHM Pattern Designer Challenge for February. And it runs February 1st to February 28th. So I have to post this by the 28th. <laughs> I only have 28 days to do so. So this is the last thing that I plan on doing for the month of February. All right, so there you have it. That's all the plans that I have for February 2022, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video, and as always, keep sewing. <laughs>